We're visiting the Mini Factory near Oxford and then trying out the latest Mini on the road. There's plenty of maths involved. Pause the video and watch each clip as often as you like. How would you work out the internal volume of a Mini? Hello, my name's Rachel Ferry and I'm a Logistics Manager here at Plant Oxford. Here at the BMW factory we build Minis. Um, at the moment we're building a Mini seven days a week. Last year we built 186,000 Minis and there are around um, 4,500 employees here at Oxford. The interior and the exterior parts get fitted all the way along what we call a production line. Basically, the people who work on the production line know exactly what their part to play is. They have a specified particular job to do and they repeat that job every single time a car goes past. So they have a time of around two minutes to complete their job. Well, first of all, we put the body panels together and then we paint the bodies in the paint shop. The painted body then arrives in our assembly facility. It takes between seven and eight hours for every Mini to go through the assembly facility and about 3,000 parts get fitted onto every single Mini. A Mini comes off the end of the production line every two minutes. The Mini Mark II was launched in December 2006. How many of these cars might be on the road now? Every car has a customer. Every car belongs to somebody when we build it. There are 392 interior trim combinations and 319 exterior trim combinations. So it's a very complex car. So every single one is an individual car for an individual customer. How would you work out how many trim combinations are possible? There's 9,000 part numbers and almost every Mini has got up to 3,000 of those 9,000 parts. If you owned a Mini, how probable is it that another identical Mini exists? At the plant here we have four and a half thousand employees and they work across three different shifts. At the moment at Oxford there are 13 shifts and um, we have the capacity to work up to 134 hours in one week. 
We're building 4,000 minis on average every week. How would you work out a shift pattern for the staff on the production line? The wheels and tyres come from a number of different suppliers. So one of the suppliers of wheels and tyres is responsible for sequencing them to us. They arrive just in time and just in sequence. And that is the wheel with the tyre actually on it, so we then call that a module. There are more than 18 different types of wheels and tyres. What mathematics can you see in these wheels? In the UK, the favourite colour that our customers order is chilli red, and that's also true worldwide. And one in four people who order a Mini decide to order a convertible. Do the cars coming off the production line now support the fact that the most popular colour is red, and that one in four people order a convertible? The production line in our assembly building is um, around a kilometre long and there are approximately 150 different stations there in the assembly building. At the moment we're building between 600 and 700 minis every single day here at Oxford. Um, we are building cars seven days a week and one mini rolls off the end of the production line every two minutes. If you worked on the production line for an eight-hour shift, how many minis might you work on? This is a one minute journey. What average speed is the Mini travelling at?
What might the stopping distance be at 90 miles an hour? This is a time trial between a motorbike and a Mini. What is the percentage difference between their two journey times? And how do you think cars measure their speed and the distance they travel? Maths is used in logistics on a daily basis. We always have to work out how much stock we have around us. We need to know when the next stock is arriving. We also need to know a throughput time from when a pallet arrives to when it's needed at the fit point. And we also need to know how many minis we're building so that we can talk to the suppliers about how many parts we need. So on a daily basis, we use a lot of maths.